Mommy is a psycho and daddy is a brain Sarah's kinda creepy, granny is insane Tiddy's kinda very as happy as can be All together they are the Johnston family Alright, here's our town What the hell happened to your voice? It finally dropped Let's hope something else of yours also dropped you can see for yourself later, but right now we don't have time for this. Sorry, you're right. What's the plan? Well, first we have Timmy. He'll be put into the foster home for boys at Gacy and Wayne Street. Then we have Sarah. She'd be put over there at the foster home for girls at Gerd and Dahmer. And last we have Mom. She'll be at the nursing home on Berkowitz and Bundy. Mom will be fine. We know she can make it back on her own. And I pray for anyone who stands in her way. And nobody's going to adopt Sarah, she sucks. And even if they do, she's gotten out of tougher situations. She'll be back soon enough. But what about Timmy? He's young and adorable. He's probably being adopted right now. We have to go get him. Or, I mean I guess we could become good citizens and get them back the legal way. Thanks, I don't know what came over me there. Don't mention it. Get the outfits, I'll get the car started. Here it is. I don't think we were followed. I doubt it. We've been pretty sneaky. I know. I love these plants you got at Home Depot. Aren't they gorgeous? You ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. How do I look? Like a teacher in a bad porno film. It's perfect. Wait, really? I thought I was going for the Midwestern lesbian look. No, you've got it confused. Midwestern lesbians are the lumberjacky ones, Baird included. You're thinking of the high-class inner-city lesbian that lives with her cats and dozens of sex toys. Mm-hmm, you have such a way with words. Save that energy for later. Timmy is at stake. Right, right. Give me the clipboard. You give Timmy diabetes. Little fat ass needs to eat healthier anyways. How many of those sheets did you swipe from the hospital anyways? Well, I snuck the whole stack under my pants. We can diagnose ourselves with whatever we want for the next year. Let's focus. I'll keep the car running. Get out as soon as you can. On it. Hello, can I help you with anything today? Uh, yes. I'm here to check in on the well-being of a boy here named Timmy Johnston. I'm sorry, miss. Do you have any kind of credentials? I can't disclose information regarding the individual children here. Yes, of course I. Oh dear. Oh dear, I forgot my badge back home. I'm sorry, but you have to understand that I have to protect the privacy of the kids here. Listen, this is important. Timmy Johnston's last medical exam shows evidence of diabetes. We need to have him taken down to the children's hospital immediately so we can address his blood sugar levels. Oh my goodness, the poor thing. Okay, let me check real quick. How do you spell that name? T-I-M-M-Y-J-O-N-E-S-T-O-N Okay, um, looks like he was registered yesterday. Yes? And was adopted by the McDonald family that same afternoon. Clowns? I mean, do you have a home address or contact information, please? Yes, right away. Here's their information. Please make sure that... Hey, you look an awful lot like Timmy now that I think about it. What do you mean? Well, Timmy had threatened that his mom was going to come get him. Plant bead! Uh -huh. Go, go, go! Was Timmy there? No, but I know where he is. He's at 217 Elm Street. I know a shortcut. We'll be there soon. Our baby is in there. Let me get ready. Damn it, there's still a stain on the pant leg from last time we used this one. Oh quit your whining, it's still usable, unlike the harness. Yeah, that thing needed to be burned for the greater good of humanity. I'm almost certain it was ready to gain sentience and beg for mercy. Anyways, you ready? Yep, let's go. Yes. 
Is this the McDonald residence? Yes, it is. Is there something wrong? We're here from the social agency, and we have reason to suspect that the boy you adopted the other day is actually diabetic. We need to take him down to the hospital ASAP so we can do some further testing. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but we don't believe in that modern medicine crap. We use prayer to heal our wounds. Sir, I assure you this is a matter of life or death, and we need to take him now. I'm sorry, but you don't have the legal right to take my son. Honey, what's going on? Nothing, dear. I've got it all settled. No, it's not settled. That boy is going to die unless you give him to us. I'm going to die? What? No, of course not, sweetie. Don't call my baby sweetie, you worn out slug. This ain't my first rodeo, you know. Plan B. Tell me, let's go. Freeze. Oh, okay. You don't believe in medicine, but you believe in guns. What kind of family is this? Better than yours. Now get out and never come back. Tell me, cover your ears. Or I'll flipping shoot you. So close. We were so close. They can't get away with this. We just need to try again. But we need to be smarter about it next time. I don't want there to be it next time. I want my family back. We'll get him back. I know we will, but we can't do it ourselves. We need the others, don't we? We can't make it on our own steam. Do you think they're back home yet? I sure hope so. We can't get Timmy back without them. If those freaks see us, they'll shoot us. Good point. Nice job back there with the maze though. I didn't know you could take it like a champ. Well, I'm used to having things sprayed on my face. Let's head back. Sarah and Mom will hopefully be back by now and we can have a full team ready to go. Agreed. Don't worry, sweetie. Mommy and Daddy scared away the bad people. They won't be around to hurt you anymore. Ever again? No. No more of that nasty language, gross actions, or any of that. Just happiness, cleanliness, warmth, and love here. But that's not what I want. Finally, about time I got my chance to shine. Yeah, gonna be honest, you weren't even in the original idea for this show. What? Why not? You were mostly added in because it felt too depressing to have the family be split. Oh, so I'm a good addition to the show? We'll see. Who knows, if you get annoying, maybe I'll kill you off. Noted.